So, when I first started running, of course, I did not really know how to train properly. So, all I did was just run. At that time, I actually did not have like a GPS watch yet. So, I would just run pretty much based on the time and the distance. And yeah, I actually did improve you know my overall fitness and at some point I decided to kind of like said how about if I try to really work on maybe try to improve some of my times I remember the time I was like really doing a lot of 10ks because yeah um, I think that was like pretty much the distance that I run a lot during that time I broke 50 minutes multiple times and then got down to like 46 minutes and then from there I felt like I just was stuck for a while there um, I said like let me see if I can actually still improve this time so I trained a little more did a little more attempts but I just couldn't break 46 minute 10k at that time and that's where I like thought that I said like I'm pro this is probably like really like my max 10k I cannot probably run any faster than this so now my 10k PR is 38 minutes so from 46 now down to 38 and I improve my 10k PR not from like just running I improve my 10k actually from fixing my form before like I said like when I run I just run I just try to hit a certain let's say like distance or time or pace but I was not really thinking about anything else now the difference is that when I run I think of like these little details like like how my foot should land on the ground like is my you know cadence like moving well um, is my arms wings like moving okay things like that like for example like this so here I ran 5k here in 21 minutes and 4 seconds you can see it right there on the bottom right there my average cadence right there is 179 and my average stride length right there is 1.33 meters and my pace right here is like uh, 646 so it's like a, just a little bit over 4 minutes per k for 5k and here I ran 10k here in 39.56 so my pace is even quicker than my 5k and see right here my average cadence right there is 178 which is about the same as like the cadence that I run like in, in that 5k but my average stride length right here is 1.42 meters so yeah this these are the things that i'm saying that when i run i know exactly what i need to do and this is something that i really like practice a lot on my training days um i would consider this is more of like just biomechanic uh training like i just focus more on like the way i run like for example like right now guys like i have like this a little like issue in my right leg so like i don't 
like I don't really actually have a lot of like fitness because I wasn't really able to run a lot but if I want to run like let's say like a six minute per mile pace which is a, like a 340 pace I can actually hit that pace even without fitness because biomechanic is totally different thing so if you just run more and more depending on how you do it that adds up your fitness that's more for your overall fitness but trying to maintain a specific pace you need to learn how to run that so i'm not saying that running more is not gonna improve your speed i'm pretty sure like yeah you can you're probably gonna improve your speed here and there but talking about like real speed like like one minute faster than you know like your training pace or even two minutes faster than that that's a totally different thing that's more biomechanic stuff that you need to fix it's gonna feel a little weird from the start but once you start learning how to do all of this i can tell you that you're gonna improve your time a lot quicker it's because you know how to run more efficient and you have more control than the paces that you know like you want to run and one thing that can really help if you can do like one of your training runs just focus on like this um, shorter intervals that's what I normally do um, you don't focus really on the pace just focus on your form trying to be efficient trying to focus on your cadence your arm swing and all that kind of stuff and if you have like of course a gps watch that's very helpful because like my gps watch can actually track the, the strike length and then the cadence so you can try different stuff there and try to just focus on that for like shorter distances and then you can compare it once you're done so that the next time you do it you know exactly what to do how to run these different paces so this is all for today guys thank you again so much for being here today I'll see you guys in the next vlog.